Hi everybody, welcome to Wednesday's Wisdom. I love a great video, but this one I have to tell you was so profound when I watched it. Um, part of because it's a true story, number one. So let me set a scene before you watch the video. And I will tell you, if you've never watched a Wednesday Wisdom, you have to watch this one because it really like absolutely stopped me in my tracks. So the video is on, it's a true life story from 1969. So I would have been five years old. And he talks about what the world was like back then. It was uh, Vietnam War was going on. Uh, JFK, Bobby, Malcolm X, Martin Luther King had all been assassinated within a very short period of time. And think about Charles Manson, that whole thing with the cults and the killings, that was all going on. So he equates it to our world today. You know, we all kind of look at our world and we're going, it is just, I mean, we're all in, in uproar and we, we just don't know how we're ever going to fix our world. Well, think about 69 and all of those events happening. They had to feel pretty similar to how we're feeling right now, right? Well, he talks about this story about trust and that's really the bottom line about trusting other people in a time where it's really messy in our society and it's really hard to just trust in the kindness of others and the impact that not only it had on his father, who of course was that age where this was all so significant, but also how it transformed him as a young man into the kind of uh, adult that he is today. It's a fabulous video. It's a true story. And um, I hope you enjoy it and I hope you equate it to where we are today. My takeaway on this is we have to learn to trust again. Take care. Make it a great day. People think we're more divided as a country now than we've been in a long time. I know it can seem that way, but when I was a little kid in 1969, the Vietnam War was tearing the country apart. And they'd shot John F. Kennedy and they'd shot Bobby Kennedy. They'd shot Martin Luther King and Malcolm X. And there was the Manson family and the Zodiac Killer, and it just felt like the whole country had lost its mind. My father, who'd grown up in the Depression, well, his faith in humanity was just at a low ebb. And the two of us that June were driving from L.A. to Oakland in our old 1960 Oldsmobile, and the water pump blew out south of Bakersfield. And so and this was long before cell phones, so we were about, well, we were gonna have to hoof it like nine or 10 miles into town when this young cowboy pulls up in a flatbed and offers to tow us in. And all my dad had on him for money was this old Chevron gas card. So he kept telling this young fellow, you know, I can't pay you. And the young cowboy's looking at him like, yeah, I wasn't gonna charge you. So he rolls us into town and this is a Sunday, so nothing's open. So he has to go get his mechanic friend to open up his garage. And my dad says, hey, listen, I don't have any money. And the mechanic says, you know, we'll work something out. And then they all realize they don't have the actual parts, so now they got to go roust out the local auto parts store owner, and they bring him down. And my father's like, okay, okay, we need to talk about how this is all going to get settled. Because he just couldn't imagine anybody being this trusting about the money. So the cowboy says, look at it, make it feel better. I got a bunch of watermelons I need to get loaded onto my flatbed, and it's pretty hot work, and if you help me out, I'll pay for the part. So next thing you know, we're all unloading watermelons from inside a rail car, and that's about 140 degrees. And 90 minutes later, we are soaked in sweat, and up rolls the car, just run like a top. And my dad says, I really don't know how to thank you, fellas, and, uh, for this good turn. And we're turning to go, and the mechanic gets this look on his face, and says, whoa, whoa, where do you think you're going? And you could see on my father's face, just all the fear and distrust come to the surface. And he's stiffened like a leopard, and the mechanic says, no, no, no. My wife's gonna make us all Sunday dinner and, and you and the boy can get a shower and a clean shirt and it'll, it'll make the drive easier for all of us. So we sat down for a dinner of fried chicken from the chicken right over there and corn on the cob from the corn right over there. Man, I gotta tell you, I, I, I will never have a meal that good ever again. And my dad didn't say maybe three words the whole drive, but when we got home, I got into bed and I was just about to turn off a light and he stops in the doorway and he says to me, no matter what you see in the movies, or on TV, or you read in the papers, you listen to me. That's how people really are. And about a month later, Neil Armstrong walked on the moon. So, keep the faith. <laughs>